got? You got your graduation toy? Huh? Look at you. Alisa, come here, look. Who's that? How long is it going to take you to tear this one up? Be careful. Girl. Is that your graduation crown? Look at you. Oh. And look, her nails are all painted. I thought she specifically asked you to stop painting her nails. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. Tennis balls. Like, I don't want this thing on. It's like her shades. She's got the two. She's got the Hold on, hold on, look. hold on. Okay, good. She's like got all this stuff. She doesn't know what to do. Okay. She's like, I don't care. I can see the ball. the ball. I've got a ball to destroy. Granny, That's you got the matters. ball and painted nails. And a mask. Look how cute your nails are. Did you paint that pink or did you get the pink and then paint the nails to match? Okay. <laughs> this is your last night of training and unfortunately the last night of beginner obedience. Adult obedience training. No. What happened to your whole class? I have no clue. It started out a big class, but evidently other people didn't think their dogs needed training as much. And that's their prerogative. Unfortunately, the bad thing is those are the dogs you're probably going to find at the shelter available for adoption within the next year. All I can say is you've done a wonderful job with these dogs. Keep up the work. Remember, just because you're not going to class doesn't mean you can stop the training. You've got to continue with training. You must always be the winner. Everything has to be as you demand. You cannot be a dictator to your dog and you cannot be overly dominant, but you must always follow through with everything that happens. One of the best things in this class, everybody knows I'm probably the biggest bull breed advocate in the country. And one of the big highlights for me in this class is knowing that this leash could be dropped. She could go around the ring. And my dog stay, stayed there and waited for her without aggressively going out to attack another dog. If you've watched her Facebook page that they've done with her, you'll see she is also starting to play with several other dog friends. She was even at Dog Beach playing with a dog on video. And for that to happen with this dog is bigger than anything I can say. It just goes to show in the right hands with the right people they're everything I know they are. They're not bad dogs. They're just a whole lot of them up with really no. bad things. So I just want to thank you for having my trust and confidence in me to stick with this eight weeks. The dogs have done well. Keep up the work. You all have my cards at home. You have your sheets from every week. My phone number is on there. Anything comes up, any problems, please call me. I don't return calls every day. I just don't. My job requires me to answer phones as well as I get home and I have 10 messages. I can guarantee you I'm not returning a damn one. <laughs> that's that's how I work. Three or four days before I return it. Don't worry, I will get to you. So the dogs that are graduating tonight She's another one of my favorite breeds, and you notice how calm she is. And if people just keep their dogs out of her face, she's perfectly fine. Another determined owner who was not going to give up once he adopted her. She was dumped at a shelter by a former owner. And I'm sure because they just didn't know what to do with her and dare, we take a little time and work with our dog. So Brad and Cookie are graduating. Yay! Yay, Yay Cookie! <laughs> okay, and this one, I think I said all I can say about this dog. I absolutely adore this dog. And to know that she's in hands with people who are really concerned, willing to work, and are doing absolutely fabulous job with her.
Gwen has graduated. Gwen! Yay! <laughs> Don't bite the leash, Gwen. <laughs> Oh, good girl, Gwen. Hey, and after the first week.